गुणागार संसार दुख रहित विगत संदेह भगवान श्री राम इज एक्सप्लेनिंग टू लक्ष्मण टू नारद संत लक्षण रिलेटिंग संत लक्षण संतन के लक्षण रघुवीर कहु नाथ भव भंजन भीरा ऑन रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ नारद ओनली ही इज टेलिंग हाउ मेनी लक्षण विल सी वट ही सेज द एंड वट टू मेनी टू मेनी सो वी हैव टू सी नाउ फ्रॉम फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव ऑनवर्ड्स भगवान कंटिन्यूस with this sant lakshana and i told you this chapter starts with asant <laughs> and ends with sant not a sant asant <laughs> it starts with the opposite of sant all right <coughs> now see after 45 aranya kanda निज गुण श्रवण सुनत सकुचाहे पर गुण सुनत अधिक हर शाही समीतल नहीं त्याग ही नीति सरल स्वभाव सब ही सन प्रीति जप तप व्रत दम संजम ने वा गुरु गोविंद वे प्रपद प्रेमा श्रद्धा क्षमा मैत्री दाया मुदिता मम पद प्रीति अमाया दीरति विवेक विनय विज्ञान बोध जथारथ वेद पुराण दम्ब मान मद कर काऊ भूलिन देह कुमार गाऊ गाव ही सुन ही सदाम लीला पर हित रत शीला मुनि सुनु साधुन के गुण जेते कई न कहि सकन सारद शेष नारद सुनत पद पंकज गहे अस दीन बंधु कृपाल अपने भगत गुण निज मुख कहे सिर नाय बार बार चरण ब्रह्मपुर नारद गए ते धन्य तुलसीदास आस बिहाय जय हरि रंग रे रावण हरि जसु पावन गाव ही सुन ही जलो राम भगति दृढ़ पाव विनु विराग जप जोग सियावर राम चंद्र की जय दीप शिखा सम जुबती तन मन जनी हो पतंग भज ही राम तजी काम मद कर सदा सत संग सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय मापति महादेव की जय बोलो भाई संत लक्षण <coughs> निज गुण श्रवण सुनत सकुचाही दिस इज अ मोस्ट वंडरफुल गुणा गुणा दिस इज अ गुणा दैट इज वेरी वेरी सटल प्लीज पे अटेंशन टू दिस ऑल ऑफ अस हैव दिस डीप सी सो डीप व्हेन समथिंग इज वेरी डीप राइट दैट मींस इट इज वेरी सटल and the bad thing about that is that means also it is not discernible not discernible means we cannot really see it and this is this one guna which we all have and we all like to hear our praises and that takes various forms various forms huh we like we love to hear our praises there's a wonderful katha in balkan which you all were not here for but that time 
Narada was able to conquer Kamadev. Kamadev means Cupid. Cupid. Who is not stupid. <laughs> Cupid is very smart. And Narada was able to conquer Kamadev. And a thought occurred to Narada. What is that thought? <coughs> Even Bhagwan Shiva was not able to conquer Kamadev. He got angry with Kamadev. And he opened his eyes and he burnt him also. So, Lord Shiva also. And Narad, he was able to conquer Kamadev. And nothing, he was. He opened his eyes very peacefully and smiled at Kamadev. And Kamadev was scared that the sage will curse him. Narad will curse him. But Narad said, no. I am absolutely fine. Don't worry, Kama. And you go and tell your boss, Indra, that I don't want his kingdom. I am not doing any tapas for his kingdom. In one stroke, he was able to conquer Kama. He was able to conquer Krodha and Lobha for the kingdom of Indra. And he thought in his mind, Vareva. Even Lord Shiva could not achieve this thing. But what is the use of any achievement if our opponent, our competitor, does not know that I achieved it? Ay, ay, ay. So he went straight to Lord Shiva and told, I conquered Kamadev, you know. Now see, when our competitor knows that I have achieved something which he does not achieve, that sort of gives me a lift. Somehow, eh? now that's how, how mysteriously that thing happens. So Lord Shiva, knowing that Narad's heart had become a great big oak tree of pride had grown in the heart of Narada, tells him, Lord Shiva wanting to get that, to root out that tree of vainness, vanity. Vainness is the word? Vanity. English language is a very difficult thing. <laughs> there are countless things in English language which you cannot explain. Huh? Like why P-U-T is put and B-U-T is but. Beauty should be but. <laughs> and in America it becomes even more complex. Why you drive on a parkway and park on a driveway. <clears throat> anyway, so it, Bhagwan wanted to uproot his vanity, not vainness. And so, he told Narad. Now, Bhagwan had a plan. He knows that if Narad goes and tells this to Bhagwan Vishnu, Bhagwan Vishnu will find an upaya, some means to uproot that vanity. So, Bhagwan Shiva said, Narad, I tell you something. Don't go and tell this thing to Lord Vishnu. Well, you know what happens there, right? Don't go and tell that you conquered this Kamadev to Lord Vishnu. And even if you go there on a, on a casual visit and this topic arises, change the topic. Hmm. So Narad went there on a casual visit and that topic did not arise, but he brought it up. Huh? And he told that whole thing to Bhagwan Vishnu. And so Bhagwan Vishnu made a monkey out of that Narad. And that is what we this thing which we are studying here, all of them. Literally made a monkey out of him. So that is all because of this very, very subtle Durguna. Some Durgunas are very subtle, some are very gross. This is a very subtle Durguna. Everybody likes to hear their praise. When that falls on the air, that person gets, gets a kick, we say, in, in, in ordinary parlance, you know. He gets a kick out of that, or he gets some joy out of that thing. When we, and I told you that forms, that takes many, many uh, forms, huh? So you suppose I have this glasses frame, right? It doesn't have to be me. Could be something which I possess also. Somebody, oh, Swamiji, where did you get that cute glasses frame? Oh, that! Ah, that I got from Thailand. 
So do anything connected with a little bit of praise for that fellow, he loves that thing. And this is because of some deep-seated durguna. So the antidote to that deep-seated durguna, is it there? There's guna in the saint. What? Nija guna shravana sunata sakuchahi. When he has any praise about his, himself, anybody praises himself, that makes him agitated and abashed and made, makes him, um, what you call, um, uh, ashamed and, you know, makes him feel uneasy. He doesn't like to hear any praise of himself. This is the antidote to that, because it's very difficult to know that we do that. We do that in all sorts of And that is bred into us from birth. Eh? That is bred into all of us from birth. I told you now, see. Little Munna comes. Dad, look what I drew. He drew something, right? Look what I drew. Then that dad goes, really, beta? Oh my God, you drew that all alone? Oh my God, that's so good. Nobody knows what he drew. Eh? <laughs> Nobody knows. what. But it, 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 it becomes, I don't know what it becomes in today's world. I said politically correct for the dad to tell. Oh my God, that is so good. What a good job. So he responds to praise. When he prays, he responds to that thing. Trash parenting it is called. Trash parenting. When he comes and he brings that picture, immediately that parent's duty, a real Hindu parent, <coughs> Beta, my God, how your hands move to draw all of those lines. What a talent you have in your hand. You know who gave that talent? Who gave that ability for your hands to move so nicely to draw that? Bhagwan. Now see, immediately we shift the attention from him to the... To, what? Let us sit down and praise Bhagwan for giving you that ability to... to draw that thing. That sounds correct or not? That's a Hindu parenting. This is what our rishis tell us to do. Huh? How the Lord has blessed your hands so beautifully. Bhagwan kissed your hands. And your hands have become so talented that you can draw. Huh? So, I'm telling you, this Durguna is bred into us by our society from the beginning. To, to respond to praises. We want to hear some. Some praise here and there. And that is, give, that is used in the educational system also. Isn't it? What is a corrupt education system and all that? So when he hears anybody praising, he gets... Uh, bit, uh, for one other reason, you know why, what? Are there any guna of mine? That guna belongs to Bhagwan or not? Huh? The guna, just like we tell the child, the guna belongs to the Lord. Paraguna, sunata, adhika harashahi. When he hears the praises of other people, the glories and qualities of other people, he's happy. And there also he sees, uh, my Bhagwan is expressing in that person. My Lord is expressing some guna in that other person. So he's very happy also. He likes to see joy in others, in other words. Samasita nahityagahi niti. He's all the time sama. Sama? Antar Indriya Nagra. Sama means Shama. Shama you have all studied already. Shama. Sama also means Samatwam. <laughs> Both things. Here, the word is Sama. So in North India, all Sha becomes Sa. So the, the actual word is Shama. North Indians are not capable of saying Sha very well. So they say Sa. Everything is Sa, Sa, Sa. And they're not very good at saying also va. So instead of vivek, they say bibek. <laughs> and in my batch, there were two North Indians. I, I, was, I just had a good laugh. <clears throat> One is saying bibek. Because they can't say vivek. Then the other North Indian hears that. North Indian hears that and he tries to correct it. Are bhai, 
it is not bibik it is bibik <laughs> and he doesn't know that he is telling also he thinks he is saying bibik so anyway in the north they say sir for sure so the word here is but you know sometimes a mistake is also a good thing a mistake or some alternate thing look here have you seen nowadays people go and buy jeans where some parts of the jeans are missing <laughs> have you seen that <laughs> so some that defect becomes a fashion now isn't it yeah from shama he slips to sama so the word is actually shama shama means antarindriya nigraha means the the control of the internal organ right that is shama it slipped into sama but it slipped into sama but sama is the biggest word in bhagavad gita sama means samatvam sama buddhir vishishyate samatvam yoga uchyate sukha dukhe same kritva alava sama 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 everywhere in gita so he slipped from shama and came to sama but he fell in a nice place hanuman ji slipped and fell in ayodhya but he fell at the feet of bharat sometimes we slip and fall we fall some in some good places also so it's, some falls are also good so sama they mean that saint has that quality what it is sama whether you take it as shama or sama control of the internal organ and sital what nice word sital means sital means uh, same again sital means who is all the time calm calm in western language cool 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 calm one lady was asking her friend i heard you just had a big settlement from your divorce you got a lot of money how did you manage she said i was calm and cool and collected <laughs> hmm collected also sama sital <laughs> calm cool and collected nahi tya gahi neeti that is in ek guna in in uh, uttar uh, not uttar kan in lanka kan there is a line in that line says koti vignate sant kara mana jimi neeti na tyag me to say no matter how many pressures how many torments come to that saint he never deviates from dharma from what is right from what is the correct thing from neeti what is proper from proper behavior from proper conduct no matter how many pressures we put on him and in our case <coughs> would you do this work for me no that is illegal how about 10000 what started sounding legal now <laughs> how quickly we in divit eh? everything has a price in today's world but for this saint no matter what we put on him not he will never deviate from that from propriety from the right thing nahi tyagahi neeti saral subhav sabhi san priti is saral subhav is a nice word tulsidas ji likes that word because tulsidas ji himself was saral subhav I mean saral swabhav swabhav means nitya once nitya saral in 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 this avadhi also anything that is difficult to say in hindi in avadhi becomes very easy ji swabhav is difficult to say so subhav is easy subhav a smaran smaran is very difficult to say so sumiran sumi say na you, you practice and then you will see how easy and not only is easier it is sweeter also smaran is very coarse sumiran sweet sumiran <laughs> so like that it says here also subhav 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 
that is swabhav. So saral swabhav. Very simple nature. Simple, simple. But everything that Bhagwan made is simple. Everything we make, messy complexity. Man, human beings are known for that. We are seeing that in Upanishad also. We always make everything complex and all. So a saint's nature is a very simple fellow. If you really want to see this thing, you have to see our Puja Guruji. Those, uh, you have seen him? All those who have seen Puja, Puja Guruji? You have to see Santa Lakshanayan Guruji. So simple, you will never find. And those who are close to Gurudev also will see that exact same thing. Those who are close to Gurudev. Simplicity in Mahatma is just phenomenal. So, Saral Subhav, again he'll say later on, Bhagwan Ram will give, in the end it's called Purajana Gita. He'll give message to all the people of Ayutthaya. And there he says also, Saral Subhav Namana Kuti Lai. Means of simple nature and no dementations in the mind, you know. Simple, straightforward, like that. <coughs> we have to learn. Sabahi Sanapriti and love towards all. And Sabahi here means every single creature, every being. Sabahi Sanapriti. One, one <coughs> monk was there you know, in, in a monastery. <coughs> this story is told about Sri Bhagwan Sri Ramana Maharishi also. So in the middle of the night, a burglar came in there. So the monk heard some kur 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 something going on. So he got up and he went there to, to hear that what noise, what was that. So he, there he saw a burglar brandishing a sharp knife. <laughs> that is why I turned it from that side, you know, sharp knife. Brandishing a sharp, shiny knife, the only thing could show in the dark. So he said, um, <coughs> so, hey, uh, what do you want? Hey, shut up. He told that monk, now open the donation box. So the monk turned on the light. He lit a lamp. And he opened the donation box. But in the lamp now, he could see this fellow's face, you know. He said, you look hungry. Next to the donation box, there's, uh, there's a little cupboard there. And there's some food there also. You can have some. So this fellow is taken aback. I'm robbing him. And he's feeding me also. Anyway, he took the money and took the food and again brandished the knife. The, make sure you don't call the police. He said, why would I call the police? I voluntarily opened the box and I gave you the money. And I saw that you looked hungry and I gave you food also. You did not do anything wrong. I gave voluntarily everything. And he left. Then, that burglar in the newspaper next day, he was caught and in some other robbery. And he was given 10 years jail. And after 10 years, that monk again heard some noise and again got up. And it happened to be that same burglar. And the burglar said, I've come to rob you once more. But this time, I have come to rob from you the knowledge which made you treat me with such dignity even though I had come to rob you. That I had not seen anywhere. And so I came to rob you of that knowledge. And that burglar became disciple of that monk. But this story tells about the power of love, actually. The power of love is transformative. And this sage has love for every, for every creature. Sabahi sanapriti. 
No matter which being or creature, he said, while burglar was come to rob Bhagwan Sri Ramana, she told the disciple, light a lamp, let him see what he wants. Let him take what he wants, otherwise he'll hit his foot on the table, leg, and he'll get hurt. Don't let him get hurt. Light the lamp and let him take what he wants, like that. Towards all beings, that preeti, eh, love. Japa tapa brata dhamma sanjama nema guru go bind viprapada prema. Prema is the qualifying word of all of them. Prema means great love for all of these things. Great love for japa. Ja, we saw yesterday. Japa means to repeat. Jap means to repeat in Sanskrit. Go on repeating. Writing. Eh? <laughs> Many people go on repeating the wrong things also. No? Repeat. Japa, tapa, austerities. Brata. Brata means taking vows. <clears throat> this is a very important word. Eh? Bhagavan uses the word in Bhagavad Gita also. Brata or vrata. If we do not take vows, especially in this Kali Yuga, we will never transform. It is very, very important that we all learn to take vows, different types of vows. Absolutely important. Huh? <laughs> One vow, best vow to take in you know, Yoga, Sya Pratama Dwaram Vang Yirodha. You know. Is to keep quiet. A very important word. Some monks were sitting at one time, you know, they had taken a vow of silence. And they were all sitting in a room like this and they were meditating. And there was a little lamp, oil lamp in the middle. And that oil burnt, 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 burnt. And the wick also burnt out. Oh, it was about to be burnt and the oil was finished. Exhausted. Then, they, all of them now looking, four of them were there. And nobody getting up to put oil. So one monk couldn't take it anymore. He blurted out, Won't somebody get up and put some oil in his lamp? Then that second monk said, Hey, you spoke! There was a vow of silence, you know. You spoke. Then that third monk said, Are, don't you know by telling him you spoke, you spoke. <laughs> Three? Gone. Then that last monk said, I am the only one who did not speak. <laughs> All gone. So when we take vrata, <clears throat> take some vow, we have to make sure first thing that we follow. Second, we follow not when others are looking. We follow when we are by our self. Vrata is very, very, very important thing. Eh? It, trans it brings transformation in that personality in a flash. And all types of vrata are there. Yesterday we saw mitabogi. Mitabogi means what? Eat. Less. So fasting, mauna, mauna vrata is called it. Fasting, mitabhogi we become. Or we take, every day I've taken a vow, every day I will write out five verses of Bhagavad Gita first thing in the morning. Now see, it's a vow now. I'll write out five verses of Bhagavad Gita every day. Sanskrit, English translation. And if you want to make that vow more severe, Gurudev's commentary on them also. Now what a thing we can do, you know. So Vrata, so he loves Vrata. Ah. Dhamma, control of the Indriyas. San, samyama, Sanyama in all, Ya, ya in, in Sanskrit becomes Ja in this Avadi. So Sanjama. So Yamaraj is called Jamaraj. Yo, yogi is called Jogi, like that. It's easy for you to recognize these words, and the words you'll know already is a slight change. Neva means Niyama, all rules and all he follows. Samyama means control of all the faculties. Guru Govind Biprapada Prema, love for the Guru, 
Govinda, Vipra. Vipra means Brahmanas, wise ones. <coughs> Shraddha, Chama, Mayatri, Daya, all of these qualities. Shraddha means faith. Faith that we must have in the Guru, in Ishwara, in Shastras, and in ourselves. Four types of faith we should have. Many people have faith in other things and they don't have faith in themselves. We have to have faith in also our own self. So, Shraddha, Chama, forgiveness. He forgives. Very, very easily he forgives. In fact, <laughs> it, is, it will become even, if you tie it with the quality of not seeing fault in others, then there is nothing to forgive, isn't it? If I don't see fault in others, there will be nothing to, to forgive. Kshama, oh, Chama, Mayatri. A saint is very friendly. This is a very, very important guna. Eh? Something Kabir Dashi speaks about. Bhagavan speaks in Bhagavad Gita also. Adveshta Sarva Bhutana Maitra Karuna Evacha. Maitra word and Mayatri is exactly the same. Now let me tell you about that word. Eh? We, we know about friends. Oh, this is my friend. This is my best friend. This is not this is my not so best friend. This is my worst friend. People have all type of friends, you know. Best friend and worst friend and all that. So we know about friends. The Shastras speak less about friends. They speak about friends also. But the Shastras speak more about friendliness. There is a difference or not? <clears throat> there is a difference. When I'm friendly, anybody who comes in front of me, I am nice towards them, isn't it? If I'm a friendly person, it doesn't matter who comes. I will be nice toward that person. But if I have only friend, that doesn't mean to say I'm friendly. That means when my friend comes, I'm very nice towards that person. Another person comes. So friendliness is what the Shastras speak about. Huh? Shastras speak about. Mayatri, the sage Muni, has this Mayatri, Daya. Daya means Daya. Means compassion, mercy towards all creatures and all, all beings. Mudita, mudita means prasannata. Prasannata means serene and peaceful and joyous and all of that sort of thing. We have to remain all the time. Cheerful, cheerful. That is a good word. Cheerful. Remain cheerful. Even if the sky falls down, no problem. Meaning to say what? I did not make it fall down. Nor can I put it back. Correct or not? So remain cheerful. People get depressed when big things happen in the world, you know. Oh. See, we only see one little speck of the world, and based on that little speck, all our emotions are formed. But we don't see the big picture. Huh? People get so depressed and they tell all sorts of things. Like, for example, now uh, that terrorism is going on there, that 20 people are shot there, 5 people are killed there, all sorts of things. And then we see what a terrible act it is. We say, what a terrible act. This man just goes there and drives his car in New York and kills so many people. And that's because you are seeing one part of the whole, one speck of the whole universe. That's an insignificant speck. Even if you study a little bit of history, then you will see how much of, see, Trinidad is the most southerly isle of the, of, isle of the Caribbean, right? We are most south of all the islands. And going up all the way up to Bahamas and all, which is on the north side. So many islands are there, right? All of these islands used to have, so it, inhabited by thousands and thousands of native people, right? The, the Spanish came here first, then the British came. The French came in between also, all the other call, um, European powers, they all came. But basically Spanish and British. They killed out everyone in all the islands. Now think of the magnitude of killing that has taken place in this, in this world. They killed all the natives. Right? <clears throat> then, there was one fellow in Mexico, his name was Cortez. In the name of the Catholic Church, he took a vrat. See? Wow. Every day I will kill 1,000 natives. And he actually did it. 
If you add the number of natives that they killed in this part of the world, the number will be mind-blowing. It goes into the hundreds of millions. That magnitude of killing in this part of the world, and you say karma means what goes around? If human beings have killed other human beings in that proportion, would, isn't it not true? Is it not true that human beings will have to be killed in that proportion also? And if that is true, and five people dead in New York, that is any killing? Is that any killing at all? Compared to this magnitude of this power which human beings have committed? That is nothing has happened. So when we only see one little speck, what a terrible thing, what is this sansar, what is this kaliyo, what is this, oh bapre. If you can see this big picture, then we understand. Oh. And here, I'm just talking about one place. What is it in Australia and Indonesia and everywhere where they went, they just kill, kill, kill. But this is how humans, and it's only human beings do, eh? go on killing indiscriminately like that. So, it, this uh, saint has, uh, he's all the time serene, calm, peaceful, he's all the time cheerful. It means to say when a some big catastrophic event like that happens, that time also, because he's able to understand a big picture of the universe. This is all just karma working itself out. And if I was part of that, I will also be involved in it now also. So, based on a broad understanding of the whole universe and how it works and all the laws of the universe and all, he's all the time cheerful. But what is there to cry about then? If anything has come to me which is bad, that means it came by karma only. So what do you want? Not to suffer for your karma. So you should be an exemption to the law of karma. That, in effect, that's what I'm saying, isn't it? If something bad has come to me, and I say it shouldn't happen to me, that means to say what? I should be an exemption to the law of karma. Let everybody else suffer karma, but don't let me suffer karma. What is that thing? So Bhagwan should prefer me, favor me, so he saying, no, it has come to me. I, I told you a story of Ram, Ramatirtha. <laughs> Ramatirtha fell down in a, in a deep, stinky ditch one day. And he came out and he started dancing. And wah, 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 today Rama fell down in a deep, stinky ditch. He started dancing for, for that thing. Prasannata, cheerful. Can you, you see, if you have fallen in a deep, stinky ditch, what is the sense now to be miserable? What? Can you unfall? We cannot unfall, isn't it? What has happened has happened. So then, be cheerful. Prasannata, how nice, huh? Then, last time we came to that, we went to that mountain, I saw the funniest thing. One of our four by four jeep flipped over. Tram like that. The passenger fell on the driver. Who was sitting there fell on the driver. Two passengers who were there fell into the river. <laughs> it flipped in the river. They fell into the river. When I, I was the first, I was the first to come on the scene of the accident. Because <laughs> I was driving the vehicle behind. <laughs> So I just came there. Our two passengers, chicks only, who, have, who fell out from the, from the back, they were sitting in the river now, in the, on the river bed like this. <laughs> so nothing had happened. <laughs> so nothing had happened. I don't know if it was Prasannata, but it was. Um... But it was such a funny sight, anyway. But after that, they took us a good chair and everything, and, and everybody was excited and all. And all the, the guys who were there, we, we all just lifted back that jeep and put it back on the wheels, and we went our way again, like that. But everybody was, why, why, why you will get 
No need to get any, any upset or anything about anything in this world, actually. Mudita, all the time. Mama Pada Preeti Amaya. Mama Pada Preeti. Bhagwan said, the saint always has love for the feet, for my feet, the feet of Bhagwan. Amaya. Amaya means Nishkapat. Nishkapat and all such words. Amaya means without any delusions. Kapatara hita. All right, now we still have, it's going much slow, much more slowly than I imagined, you know. Like today I would have been half of the next kanda already. <laughs> but I think because of the campus and all, I'm going slowly. All right, we will continue that thing tomorrow. Mm, you all had a long day today. Where you went? Edith Falls. To Edith Falls. Then? Oh, on top of there. Nice view. Did you go to beach yet? No. You had chai? No wonder you are so weak. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Yes, chai. I put less sugar because I didn't know who, who was having sugar and who was not having sugar and all that. But we don't make chai without sugar in Trinidad. Sugarless chai is not known. <coughs> all right. Okay. We'll see in the morning. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Gurupyo Namaha Hari Om